In 2020, uh, the pandemic hit. It was not an easy time for anyone, but what it really showed was the different uh, the differences in education, different socioeconomic communities. For my brother, he saw this. He saw the tools that he had available at his high school, but then looking at just uh, just 10 miles away, um, even less than that, there was these schools that kids, teachers didn't have the right technology, didn't have the right tools to teach their classes. My brother, he saw this, he wanted to make a difference, and he created this organization Level Up just with him and his friends. It started with just a group of 10 to 20 people. And they started to kind of chip away at that problem and uh, it's kind of closed the gap and it's just grown from there. Level Up has been instrumental in coming in and saying to the teachers, based on the children in your classroom right now, what would you like to have? This year, at the beginning of the school year, I was able to send a wish list. I was ready for the school year. My students were ready. What the biggest difference has been is the chronic absent rates and how we've actually improved those absent rates. This year, we've seen an improvement. You know, the kids love to come to school and they enjoy what they're doing here. There's more motivation, more enthusiasm. Something that really stood out to me, I think it was the first teacher appreciation lunch we did. And I remember going in and I had never met any of the teachers. And I remember talking to a teacher, I believe it was Miss Brown. Um, and she told us about a student who had just had a really hard time um, and was really not engaged in the classroom because they were having family struggles. Um, and then through the funding and through the resources, she was able to provide the student with art supplies and the student like really came to life in her classroom. Um, and she just told us like changed that student's life. After hearing that story, it was more visible for me, um, the change that we were able to create. The students, they have all these different avenues to try out different interests and they might find something they love and it could be what they go for for the rest of their life. I saw Level Up students play basketball with some of my kids and that's amazing. You guys just did a career day. And the kids just loved it. They were excited and you know, those are the kinds of things that when you leave elementary school, you remember. Yesterday, KTLA came to our school and the dance troupe got to perform a dance on television. They were walking on water still. That's huge. Level Up provided that. They are an amazing group of innovative and incredibly talented volunteers. My kids recognize them. They see the t-shirts and then they see the activities and they know this is going to be a good day. This is going to be fun. We're going to have a great time. Those who are Level Up folks, they really like being with our children and they know the kids by name. Getting to know the students um, and getting to go into the schools year after year, knowing the teachers, we've really built a community. And know that when they see each other, it's a friend. It's someone that's gonna teach them something positive. It's someone who's gonna affirm them. And they need that. They need that because they don't always get it so much. My students love Level Up. They, they greet them and they're excited and they wanna run and hug them. And so I feel like they've been able to make a strong bond with them. The feeling of community that is gained when you're working with these students. But through the last, I think, three years now it's been, we've built all the different curated events we have to what we've donated and what we've done to support these schools. We've done so much. The first year of Level Up, they raised about $50,000 and this year we were able to raise more than $100,000. It really has become so much bigger, and I think especially leading Team 3, Tess and I have gotten to see the growth. As we've grown, we're also changing the ways in which we're making money. We now are raising money through local and uh, large corporate groups much more than we are um, just through solicitation letters. In the new ways that we're making money are much more permanent and will help level up kind of have that longevity that obviously all of us really wanted to have. I think changing lives um, as a phrase is very daunting, but I've seen the impact of just level up, just making someone's day a little bit better. And I think if you can make enough people's days just a little bit better, then that's permanent change. If the, the components of school are just a hamburger and the bread, so you just got the patty and the bread, those are the components of school. And those are the things you need. And don't get me wrong, plain hamburger with just meat and bread, that's very nourishing. But then you add tomatoes, and you add pickles, and you add a sauce. And so you've elevated this. It's still nourishing, but there's something about it that makes it more appealing. 
those are the kinds of activities that Level Up is bringing to Coliseum. They are adding to what teachers are already doing here, but they're enhancing it and making it better. And so we're very grateful for the dance teacher, for the art, having students still have those experiences to enhance school. You know, it's what gets you out of bed to come to school.